Italy earthquakes. Sicily, which is in southern Italy, is rocked by six earthquakes in a week. Does that mean Mount Etna can erupt? Two earthquakes struck off the coast of Sicily, where the potentially catastrophic Mount Etna, Europe's largest volcano, is located. Well, we also know that we've had a tremendous number of earthquakes in Zakynthos, which is just across from the Ionian Sea from the level of Sicily, which means that all of this area is shaking. We also have a tremendous hot spell, uh, and as we speak, we've had major earthquakes in that area of anywhere between 2.5 to 4 magnitude on the Richter scale. Also, uh, Turkey's had uh, a number of uh, major earthquakes, 2.5 to 4 point something. And they're expecting a 7 Richter in, in uh, Turkey in the area of Istanbul imminently. Now, seismologists in Italy report two quakes in the last 24 hours, taking the total to six in over seven days. The first came yesterday at 7.22 p.m., magnitude 2.4 while a 3.2 magnitude tremor was recorded before that earlier hours of the morning at 1.14 a.m. The residents of Sicily, which is, as we know, the island off the coast of mainland Italy, is between mainland Italy and North Africa. Sicily is just north of Malta. Felt the effects of five more volcanoes in the five previous days. Most of the earthquakes were relatively weak. They all came at a shallow depth, which can cause more damage than the deeper earthquakes. And the earthquakes themselves are nothing to be concerned about, but some seismologists and volcanologists believe that these quakes around a volcano could be a precursor of an impending volcanic eruption. This is what we saw, for example, in Hawaii's Kilauea. Mount Etna is a volcano which is constantly rumbling, murmuring. It's a classic example of a stratovolcano towering over the eastern part of Sicily, and its height is about over 9,000, about 10,000 feet, 3,350 meters. Etna is recognized as one of the most active volcanoes in the world today with an almost constant rate of activity. According to the trackers of the volcano discovery, volcano is currently, Mount Etna, that is, is undergoing a state of eruption. Volcano discovery said Mount Etna on Sicily, locally called Mont Gibello, is Europe's largest and most active volcano. They say it's frequently uh, erupting and often accompanied by large lava flows, but rarely pose danger to inhabited areas. Etna is one of the volcanoes with the longest historic records of eruption going back over 2,000 years. Etna has been restless, aggressive for thousands of years, with its first confirmed eruption occurring around 6,000 BC. This is according to the Smithsonian Institute. Etna volcano is constantly shifting and bubbling, with around 3 million people living under its shadow within a 62-mile radius. It sits on the east coast of Sicily, and it's the highest peak in Italy, south of the Alps. Scientists also recently discovered that Etna could trigger lethal tsunamis along the coast of Italy and Sicily if this giant volcano slides into the Mediterranean Sea. Analysis of Mount Etna's volcanic activity found that it's gradually creeping towards the sea under the bulk of its own weight. In other words, its base is creeping under, the, under its weight into the sea. The slow movement caused one of the volcano's sides on the east of Sicily to dangerously weaken, which means that the volcano could collapse into the sea. It could lead to a tsunami in the popular Italian holiday destination. Seismologists from Germany, from the Center for Ocean Research, warned that large portions of the volcano of Etna are continuously slipping into the sea. They say this movement is important to study as it could lead to a catastrophic collapse of the volcano, 
The results of this study suggest Etna's flank movement, in fact, does pose a greater hazard than previously thought. This is on Express UK, and I'll leave a link below for you for this, by Sean Martin.